is Linkmon 99. This is literally the richest player in all of Roblox. I said that because of the Roblox wiki, where we have a bunch of info about this guy. Apparently, combining every recent average price of his items that this guy has, it's nothing more or nothing less than over 46 million Robux. Oh. Still, according to the wiki, 2,000 Robux is about $25. So that's a whole lot of money. And you can see that's true. Whenever you look at the collection this guy has, he has so many limited items. He literally has this Cleo's Aftaton. That's a gladiator helmet. And damn, this doesn't look good in me at all. I wouldn't buy one of these. But just look at the price of this thing. It costs 30 million Robux. And that's only one of the items this guy has. I don't know why he wanted one of those. But that's okay. Another rare item he has is this Dominus Frigidus. Which is this helmet with ice spikes. And I don't look half bad with it on. But I don't know if it's worth the 333 million Robux. If we go a bit lower, we can see that the number of people that have this one is only 26 people and he's the one selling it for the price of 333 million so i could just buy it off him but i'm not close to crazy to make a purchase like that he also has what is said to be the rarest item in all of brookhaven the dominus imperius which is being sold for 600 million robux it's just like that one we saw before but white and there are also only 26 people going around with this item so yeah he's really the richest Looks like this guy would have to have used at least $50,000 only in Robux. That is using the amount he would pay to have bought all of these items. We don't even know how much he would still have in Robux. Another cool thing to see is if we go into the outfit loader, click the load user button, and input Linkman's nickname. We'll be able to see all the skins he said in Roblox. And there is so much. We're almost at 20 and it doesn't stop. The craziest thing is that these aren't all his skins. This game just has a limit of 50. So this guy goes way beyond all of it. And here's our 50. He could apparently go way beyond all of these. And he's got so many items he uses for his skin. This is his current skin. This one doesn't have legs. It's like a ghost or something. This for sure costs an arm and a leg. I'm even scared of how much it would be. Let's try to buy one of these items. Apparently, there aren't any copies being sold anymore. What about this one? Whoa, almost everything. Every one of these doesn't have any copies. I wouldn't even be able to buy it. Can I really not get any of these? Nope. Apparently we can't get any of them. Have you ever thought about it the other way? Like, what's the cheapest item in Roblox? Of course, ruling out all of the free items, these don't count. For us to discover that, we'll need to go into the Roblox catalog. And I'll leave my maximum Robux at a 5. With those filters, we only have two items we can buy. These jeans made by Roblox. And these black slacks that they've also made, they both cost only one Robux. So those are the cheapest items you can find. Beyond that, we can only find items for five or two Robux and then just free. Right now, I'm playing Brookhaven, which is a permitted Roblox game. That's why I can just click the button and play it. But do you know what's the most prohibited game in all of Roblox? It's called Pokemon Brick Bronze. If you look for it, you won't find it since it was fully banned. That didn't only happen once, but more than 10 times. Imagine being banned all these times by Roblox. But if we look at this video from Pandex, a Roblox YouTuber, we'll be able to see some gameplay of it. You wake up in your home as any other Pokemon game. You go to the lab to meet the professor and you have to choose a starter, which all of them are real Pokemon. After that, you'll start your Pokemon battle journey. They really did just recreate Pokemon in Roblox. It has tall grass, trainers, and everything you find in a mainline game. And just so you know, this game came around to getting 700 million visits, which is just too many. So you can say that it was pretty damn popular. But after April 2018, three years after its release, it was fully deleted from the platform forever. You can see that this is the site we're in. This is Roblox.com. But here's a little thing. If we go and click the profile button, you can see that our URL changes. It's not home anymore. It's Roblox.com slash users. And beside it, there are tons of numbers. These are too many just for me. It's because I'm account number 4 million and something. Since every time someone makes a new account, the number goes up. That's why that's my number. Quite a new account. 
account if you think about it like that. Now I ask you, what would happen if we delete this whole number and place one in its place? Would that be the first account created in Roblox? As we click enter, we discover that what we find is the Roblox account, which was the first account created in this game. That was a bit underwhelming, right? So why don't we look for the second Roblox account? Let's change that one for a two and see what comes up, which is John Doe, which made his account on the 27th of February, 2006. I was only three years old when that happened, since I'm from 2003. And the third account would be Jane Doe, which got into the game at the same time. But you must be asking, who are these people? And why do they have the same last name? According to the wiki, these were the official test accounts created by Roblox, so they're made by the CEO of Roblox, David Basaki. And according to this, they are from 2005. I know I showed that they joined in 2006. They also acknowledge this in the article. But we don't have to stop there. What was the account created after those test accounts? Let's go to the URL again and change the user to for now. Sadly, this page doesn't really exist anymore. So this one was deleted or banned. This is also the case for number five, six, and a lot more. We can only find an active account if we go up to 16. And there we have it. This is the oldest active account in all of Roblox right now. This Eric Castle. And look at how many followers this guy has. 150k is nothing to scoff at. Down here we can also see that the join date is also listed as the 27th of February, 2006. Literally 17 years ago. Let's go into some Roblox games fun facts. Shall we? This game is called Photorealism Test, which is a kind of RTX Roblox, which means some ray tracing. Let's try this one out. Now that I logged in, just look at how huge I am. I always have a small head for some reason. Just regular old stuff. And just look at these light effects. They're really reflecting on me. The ground even has some reflection to it too. And look at these floating particles. That's so good. Now this is quite a bit different. We got some color to see how our character looks among it. And wait, is that a nether portal? Could we get into it? Wait, did I really do that? Whoa, am I in Minecraft right now? Do we have Minecraft RTX in Roblox? It's kind of like shaders. The grass even moves. And look at this water. This is so damn cool and so pretty as well. The block really looks just like Minecraft. The only thing is this sun that just obliterates my skin. Now we'll be testing this game out, which is called Human Giraffe. It's said to be the weirdest game ever made in Roblox. I just logged in and what the heck is going on? What happened to my neck? My head just continues rotating around. Looks like we have this item in our inventory, which looks like a tongue. That's really weird. What can I do with this tongue? Wait, you gotta be kidding. This is a grappling hook. I'm basically tongue sticking Spider-Man. Wait, what just happened? This game is so bugged. Look where my head went. Let me try to get out of this place. I'm really stuck. Oh gosh, what's this? I'm flying. Good golly. Someone will for sure think I'm cheating. I'm not sure if this is the strangest game only on Roblox or just the whole world for me. I'm frightened by my own neck. I think you all know about Adopt Me. It's one of the most popular games in Roblox, which has about 33 billion visits. But did you know that at some point it was so popular that it bugged all of Roblox? According to Wikipedia, apparently when they made a Dress Your Pets update, they actually got 1.6 million concurrent players. That's crazy! So for sure we gotta acknowledge it as one of the big games in Roblox. I think everyone knows the current damage sound effect in Roblox. It's this one, this little grunt that our character blurts out. What you may also know is that it wasn't this way before. This was the old damage sound. Beef! That's a classic. You guys for sure know this one. But have you ever wondered where this sound came from? There was a theory that this is where it came from. This Roblox death sound origin video. As of now, this video has 130 million views. And this video is just this little kid making the Roblox ooh sound. It really looks like the sound. But this is not actually where it came from. It's not true. It was actually just a meme. The origin of it takes us to this video right here. End of Messiah Oof. Which actually only has 3 million views compared to that one. In this one we see a little baby with wings being blown away. Which is 
weird. It's blown to the moon, where it does them. <laughs> the video you just saw was from this game called Messiah, which was released in 2000. Here's some gameplay of it. It's this little Cupid guy flying around. You can see how old it is by the graphics. So now you know where the youth sound actually came from. Have you heard about the Roblox April Fool's joke? This is a post made by the Roblox account, as you can see. And it was posted on April 1st of 2019. They said, sleek, modern, imaginary, introducing our ultra next-gen Roblox console. The Robox. And here we have a little video of it turning the beautiful Robox, which would be cool if it was true. Sadly, this was only an April Fool's joke they pulled on us. Because if that would actually come out, I would buy it in an instant. This is the game that you most need luck in all of Roblox, Mega Marble Run Pit. The way this game works is simple. You have to choose a color. I'll go with red. So here we are in the red part. All you need to do is click one of these buttons. So let me do that. With that I've turned into a marble, with the only objective being to go down all this circuit. Let's get into this hole already. This game is fully luck based since you don't know at all where you're gonna land. There's even a chance that I'll just fall straight down from here. This game is total chaos. Wait, it looks like we're at the end. We just have to rotate around this thing. But I may just stay in here forever. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and leave a like on the video and comment down below what other facts you wanna see me talk about. Make sure to watch some of the videos on screen right now. They're rich in content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Roblox goodness. Have a good one!